Closed captions was introduced in the last major release of Final Cut Pro 10, and as good as that feature is, it was missing some key features. One such feature is the ability to turn closed captions into open captions, also called burn-in captions. Here's one of our Mac Break episodes with two closed caption roles. One's a Spanish language ITT caption, and the other is a CEA 608 compliant English caption. By the way, if you're not familiar with these terms or need a basic primer on how closed captions work in Final Cut Pro, I've included a link below to Mark Spencer's excellent tutorial on the subject. So getting back to the point at hand, closed captions are captions that the viewer can enable or disable. Open captions function like subtitles when you export your movie in that they become permanently part of the visuals. In this example, I'm going to export my Spanish language captions as burn-in subtitles by going to the Share menu and saving my project as a master file. Then click the Roles button. This window displays a roll-by-roll -roll breakdown of what picture and sound elements will be exported. For my movie, all my video and audio roles will be included in the export. I also have the option to export separate caption files for one or both of my captions. I'll come back to this section a bit later. Right now, I'm only interested in creating a burn-in, so I'll click the blue Captions button to open the settings. There's a pop-up menu that now lets you choose which captions role you want to create the burn-in for. I'll choose the Spanish ITT role and click OK. The caption role you choose will appear in the Video Track section. I'll click Next, then Save My Movie. Once the movie has finished exporting, it will open in a player, where I can scrub through it to see my burned-in subtitles. Excelente! The next new caption feature I want to show you is the new SRT export function. SRT, also known as a subrip file, is a widely supported, broadly compatible subtitle format used by a wide range of websites and video sharing platforms, including Facebook and YouTube. I'll right-click on one of these caption files, choose Assign Caption Roles, Edit Roles to bring up the Roles Editor. I'll add a new captions role by clicking the button. And there it is, the new SRT role option. I'll choose it and click Apply. Now let's say, for example, that this video of Mark and I was uploaded some time ago to YouTube, and it was, but I never took the time to create captions for it. Well, now I can just export an SRT, which is a tiny text file, then upload it to YouTube and get perfectly timed closed captions with my video. But first, I'll need to create an SRT captions role for my existing English captions. I could do this one of two ways. Either duplicate this CEA 608 role, then assign the SRT role to the duplicate, or I could simply convert the 608 role to SRT. I'll choose a second option because it's a few less steps. I'll select all the captions, right-click and assign the captions role to the SRT role I created a few moments ago. A window will appear letting me know that I'm about to convert my captions to a different format. I'll click Continue. The caption has now been converted to SRT, as indicated in the timeline headers and in the timeline index. The last step is to export the SRT captions. I'll press Command-E to share a master file, then click the Roles button. In the Caption section at the bottom, I'll place a check next to Export Each SRT Language as a separate file. Since I only have one English language version, this is the only one that will be exported. If I want my text formatting to be preserved, I'll click this button. By the way, there's no way to export just the captions file. You'll need to export the video or audio with the text file. I'll click Next and save my movie. Once the movie is exported, you'll find the SRT file right alongside it. Now you simply go to your sharing platform of choice and follow their instructions for uploading and attaching an SRT caption file to your video.